by Musa right there. How's it going? And we have Galliano back there in the back seat. Ooh, and uh road trip. Road tripping once again, just for y'all. This but not for y'all. But uh what we got going, bud? Today, on this episode of the Lord Brothers or whatever we're gonna call ourselves, we're heading down. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? Uh sort of. Okay. Uh, we're heading down to Brandon. Yep. To the park of Falling Fire, I think. Yeah. They're a barony, I'm not sure. Um, but they're doing Food Fit for a King today. They're having an ANS competition that has to do with cooking. And they, we got invited because they said basically once everything's judged, just a big potluck and there's a bunch of food left over for everyone to eat. And it seemed like everyone from the kingdom was coming. So we're like, yeah, we'll, we'll go. It was a rough start. It's a rough start. <laughs> we, uh, we almost didn't make it at all. There's a lot going on this morning, a lot going on later. But, you know, we made it. We, we're like, this is important. This is important. Now, let me say this. The free food is very important. <laughs> but that's not the reason why we're no. coming down. It's, no, that's not the reason. I don't... I wish we would have brought a dish to be judged. Next time. Next time we're going to blow them away. Yeah. Well, maybe. Because I don't, I don't cook. Hopefully somebody we brought them away. But I don't cook. But no, I'm here. I, I mean, it's it's important for us to get out to all the parks and network with everybody and say, hey, and tell your mama some way. What'd you say? what you say? Tell your mama said, hey. Remember that? That was a long time ago. Anyway. No. Like, what are you talking about? You don't remember? When we were we were in the wrestling school, we did our pro wrestling stint. You, you used to tell everybody. Tell your mama I said, hey. He still says that. <laughs> Every day. Anyway, anyway. Uh, yeah. Fall, I mean, we love Falling Fire. We love the people at Falling Fire. Uh, and everyone, it seems like everyone's going. So... We're going to see our friends. We're going to see our friends. Friends. How many of us have them? Friends. Is that actually a song? I hope so. If so, don't sing anymore. Don't sing anymore because there was a copyright. Yeah. All anyway, we are... Oh, shit. Okay, now I'll start recording. We are... <laughs> 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 well, you couldn't figure out how to put the battery in last time, so. Watch the other video, you'll see. I had to film with my phone, because someone couldn't work a battery. Anyway, anyway I'm driving. We go! Okay, when you have to come, then you don't have to go. Just don't go! Yes! Oh, my God! 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 O
Hey guys, Bob Musa here. Uh, today I'm here with Brutus. Brutus, what park are you from? Morrow Haven down in Naples. Yeah. Uh, how, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for roughly about five years. Um, so your park, you were telling us that you kind of revived one. Uh, how, did, how did that go? Uh, basically, parks come and go. They have highs and lows. And when our park, we when I first came down from Alaska to start it, they they already had the contract. It was just defunct from I think it was 2011. So I renewed it in 2015. The contract was still there, so we were able to join the kingdom really oh, quick. That's convenient. Just right in. Yeah. Our park, we're waiting. We're not in yet. We'll get there. Um, so Alaska. So you were in Northridge, right? Yep. They just became a kingdom. Um, how how is it up there? I've seen a lot of the Ampgard University videos, and they're on there a lot. And um, I, I don't know why I never put two and two together that you were there. So what, what was it like up there? Um, well, we were in the northernmost park. We had a we had like a satellite park in North Pole, Alaska, and then I was part of Astral Winds, um, which was in Fairbanks. Um, we were about 300 miles one way from any other park because the rest of them were centered around Anchorage and uh, we had about usually 30 people every weekend it was near an army base and soldiers love to hit each other yeah so. yeah it probably helps 30 people is pretty good yeah especially for the you're in the northern part of Alaska yeah we were at that ship. that's that's pretty impressive mm -hmm. um so if if someone came up to you and they were interested in this, what would you, how would you get them into the game? Uh, I would explain it a little bit where we usually try and go where there's a lot of foot traffic. And then when people come up, they'll look, they'll record, they'll do YouTube videos. Younger teenagers will think it's really nerdy. Right. But oh, it is. I put them in the chain mail. I say, hey, you guys want to try and wear this? And they're like, some will go no, some will go with their friends into doing it. And I'll make them run around with a sword and shield. And they'll realize that this is a lot of exercise. Right. Um, oh, yeah. Promoting it at your your local cons, your your uh, local comic shops, stuff like that. For a lot of people, this is the only exercise they get is on the weekend on Saturday. Right. But it's like Dungeons and Dragons, but in person. You get to be whoever you want to be for a day, and not have to worry about work, worry about friends, school, family, whatever. Right. Oh. Well. Oh. All right. Well, thanks for taking time out and talking with us. No. Uh, see you next time.
Do I have to use it there? Well, after that, we will wrap you off this sword, which is a standard short sword that has a sewn-on cover. Nice. 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 I have to figure out how to get a number generator real quick. And then, we're not ready. Uh, I need a random number between 25 and 40. 1 to 40. Random number between 1 and 40. If a child is chosen, it will be pre-chosen. Number 30. Wait, what's your definition of a child? 27, 28, 29, 30. Gilly wins. Woo! 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 That's me. <laughs> I made it. 32, so 25. Oh. 26, 27, 29, 30, 31, 32. Robert Herring. I like Brady's hair. It was Robert hair. Herring. I like Brady's hair. Brady 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 Brady. Uh, your buddy said to redo it if you want. Hey, look. look yeah. I like Brady's hair. Number four. Hair. Anticipation yeah. Number four is D-Rex. No, no, no. 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 Number 22 oh. is Kelbo. Oh. Try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just some quick announcements. Yeah. Next week there oh, is okay. Oh, All right, so I just want to announce the next couple weeks going on. Um, next week there is a double coronation with Forsaken Hollow and Castro Keith. That is all in Jasper. What is it? Jennings. Jennings. I'll put the other page. Place. Yeah. All right, so Jennings. And uh, that's probably about two and a half hours from here, uh, roughly. Two and a half hours from here. Really 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 if you were really one event, guys. Yeah, it's a double coordination. We've got people from Saturday and Sunday. It's practically going to be like a kid's event, from what I hear. Don't worry, it's nothing bad. You have that are going. You have not brought the North River. It's not a big event. It's going to be a big event. It's usually very soft. In two weeks, we have our crown bulls here. That is your Weapon Master style tournament. And uh, everyone has to pass balls. And the week after that, we will have our voting for our new officers. That's on the 29th. On May 6th is our coronation. And we will also be playing Phoenix League again that day. But maybe we will advance to maybe level two spells and stuff. All right? We might we might up a little. All right? Fingers crossed. You can I use blink, maybe. <laughs> almost, almost. All right. Kelbo had some announcements. So there, there is the quest for the holy garb contest, which is due at coronation, which will be in August. So if you've seen the post for that, there's actually some prizes. The winners will get to sit up. Oh yeah, it's very surprising. Uh, you get to sit at the head table if you win. There was also some piece that I posted that was uh, either you had a black one or a rainbow one. I know, that was so funny. Um, so I decided I, I, I found a couple other things I'm going to add to the to the pot there, and I think maybe we'll have the, the winners pick between that and some new items. So we've got, uh, we've got some belts that are either traditionalist straight black belts, or neonist, Woo! Woo rainbow and sparkly silver. I love so silver. The belts are reversible, so Looks you can wear them. Sash. You can wear them either way. I want to braid a kid like this. So, so not only do we have garb, but we've got garb accessories that you can use for your your neonist versus your traditionalist. My sister's having a belt like that for the mid-range competition. The very holy. That's right. Maybe maybe. The garb accessory, not the yes. garb. Ideas, I have my hair. So you can come up with ideas for anything. We'll give you. Some my hair. So, so and we've got uh, you know garb accessories is one of the things. So, so I do have something here for for Lady J. 
<laughs> Those are not supposed to be yours. <laughs> yeah, I wish they are. You know what it is. So traditional is pink. Oh, that was pretty neon to me. me. It is not. Looks pretty neon to me. Let's pick it up then. Shows pretty darn close with that too, I would say. Has a little no. Ford lease on it, which is a symbol of uh, of the king. And royalty. And royalty, of course. Um, but I, but I, have one, I have one other item in here. So, uh, this uh, this last weekend I wasn't at park because I, was I was in New Orleans and I was partying. So, I don't know if you've ever been around New Orleans walking around. <laughs> Drinking all day, and, you know, you end up and wind up in the hustler shop. Oh boy! You know, oh boy! And uh, so I was perusing the uh, we'll call it interesting merchandise. You know, uh, there was something that caught my eye that was hanging on the wall. And uh, as soon as I saw it, I stopped, and I immediately thought of one person, and that was Lady J. Oh no! I thought you was gonna say my husband. Oh my God! Oh, no. And, and I, could, I could just picture Lady J wearing this. It was, uh, it was quite a vision, I will tell you. Uh, yeah, where's that husband? Yeah. 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 Uh, she could have put it on camera. Yeah. The, the fantasy wasn't wasn't quite as off. Awesome. I knew that she had to have this. I had to have this for her. Um, so, so if you would do me the great honor. Oh. And, oh. And, and wear this for your king, my princess. That makes it weird. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. You're weird. Why is there flux in here? Um, you're really weird. The suspense. I can just lower this. Ah! Oh! oh I didn't know that power would be that neon Neon! 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 Okay, uh, I'm Lucy here again, and today I'm here with uh, Duke Sir PJ. Huh? So, Duke Sir PJ. Yes. Sounds like there are a couple important titles in there. Can you those, explain those to us? Well, PJ is my name. All oh, right. So, right. Um, so uh, I am a. We're talking about like for Empire Department of Control. Um, and they go to protect it, just either one. Okay, That's so like, for Ampgard, um, like part of Kingdom Neverwinter, of course, uh, we executed the Falling Fire, which is a barony located in Brandon, Florida. Um, but uh, it fights some other people. I tried. Yeah. yeah. All right. So hopefully, like, you got him. There's an edit button. All right, cool. <laughs> he won. <laughs> awesome. Um, but uh, so I've got several titles when it comes to this game. I've been holding political office for a long time now. Um, several titles that I've accumulated over the years, Lord, um, Paragon Bard, uh, Baron, Duke, uh, I was recently knighted, Knight of the Crown, which is holding Kingdom Office for excellence um, for several terms. Um, I've been Kingdom uh, Prince twice, I've been King as well, I'm actually about to run for uh, Kingdom Prime Minister, which uh, the declarations end on the 18th of this month, so after that the finalists who are who have declared that they qualify for office. Um, and then I let people vote. So far, there's two people, myself and uh, Lady and Anastasia out of Gainesville. Oh, we were just, just heard about her. Actually. Yeah, it's actually really cool. Actually, I enjoy talking to her any chance. Yeah. So for Duke, I've gotten, uh, I received that for doing, uh, I think it was four terms actually in the office as well, or four oh, terms for a higher level office. Um, Baron was for holding a one term is for Prince of Excellence. And Lord was for holding uh, kingdom, or sorry, local monarch for excellence as well. Okay. Yeah. So the the excellence is kind of there. It's subjective stuff, right? There's not it, like it's a lot of it's subjective. Um, unfortunately, I mean, it's you can't like it's it's hard to compare one person's term to another. Right. Because things could go wrong. Things could go right. Somebody could have just a really easy going term. Somebody could have a lot of crap that happens during it that right. that they shine through that they're actually able to. Um, 
basically persevere through and get make sure it's taken care of. Uh, I'm sure location matters as well for uh, people's location, the, the, the location of the park. Because so sure, I mean, no? if you're if your property thinks you did a good enough job, they'll recommend you towards the king or the current monarch and be like, hey, this person went above and beyond what you needed to do. They didn't just do the bare minimum. They, you know, helped with fundraisers. They helped um, help grow the populace. They helped bring back old members who were jaded from the game. You know, just, there's various things you can okay. do to help you know make your park do better or right. make the game overall a better experience for everybody else. Okay. Because like when you're in office, it's not just about you. You know, you can have go have fun, but you're also trying to make sure people want to come back to the park. You want to make sure that they're they're all enjoying themselves. Because without the park, this the game dies. Right. So. Yeah. With no players, there's no game. Yeah. Oh, and we kind of skipped over this. But what park are you from? Oh, uh, I'm from Forsaken Hollow, um, the Barony Forsaken Hollow, located in Valdosta, Georgia. It's about three hours from here, north. Okay. Yeah. Basically, hit I-75, go up, and <laughs> go we're home. exit 20, 22. It's 18 at 22, it depends on when it starts at. But it's, it's about three hours. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm sure we'll make it up there. We are, we're doing a tour. We're touring, we're touring Neverwinter. That's, that's what yeah. we're working on. Actually, right great now. chance for that. Next week, you guys can make it. Next Sunday, we're actually having a joint event with Catch for Keep. It'll be located in Jennings, Florida, okay. which is two and a half hours north. Okay, we are going to try. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys can do it, cool. If not, oh well. Have that little shameless plug. <laughs> that's all right. We put yeah. all the shameless plugs. Like our Patreon, which I'm sure there's a link to down below. Oh, right, well, thanks for taking your time out and uh, talking with us today. No problem, anything else? I know, we're good, thank you. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, you should probably say that. I said you're fine. Three, two, one. You're not supposed to say one. Three, two, speak up. <laughs>